fighting sister <laughs> goddesses! Have no fear! Have no fear! Have no fear! Mama Gina is here! What is your pleasure? Such a pleasure. I'm Regina, headmistress of Mama Gina's School of Womanly Arts. Let's just see what we can expose here. She's on a mission to transform the world by teaching people how to tap into the power of their pleasure. Can, can you feel the oxygen that got cut loose when she took her top off? <laughs> Mama Gina's pleasure teachings are featured in her three best-selling books. Mama Gina's School of Womanly Arts, Mama Gina's Owner's and Operator's Guide to Men, and Mama Gina's Marriage Manual. Regina has taken her pleasure message to the masses with regular appearances on The Today Show, Late Night with Conan O'Brien, and ABC's 2020. Today, I'm gonna show you how to fall head over heels in love with yourself! Growing up, Regina discovered the pitfalls of pondering problems. I had a wonderful background because my dad was a Freudian psychotherapist. So my whole youth was about studying problems. And I noticed that when people study problems, the problems grow. They expand. They multiply. Your problems get problems. And then your problems problems. And you know where the roots of your problems. And pretty soon you are one big problem. After high school, she had another life-altering revelation. I think where it started was I went to a woman's college. And when you go to a woman's college, you end up with super tight girlfriends. And I watched us after we, after we graduated. We all seemed to do great in our careers, but we tanked in the world of personal happiness or great relationships. So I wanted to do some research and figure out what it takes to create a great relationship first with oneself and then with partnerships throughout a lifetime. Regina left behind her career in the theater arts to research her newfound profession. I want pleasure, I want passion, I want fun, and I figured if I wanted all those things I'd have to study it. So I kind of pronounced myself the pleasure queen. No one else was applying for the job. <laughs> and I began to research pleasure and research intimacy and research sensuality and begin to and began to build a, a foundation of technology that uh, could create a great relationship with oneself that unfolded over a lifetime and included a partnership. After years of extensive research, Regina opened the School of Womanly Arts in New York City, turning everyday women into sister goddesses. I realized that um, my mission was to kind of spread the viral condition of self-love for no reason, the epidemic condition of a woman adoring herself just because she's alive, she's beautiful, she's incandescent, she's a woman, and she can. I'm gorgeous. I'm Mm. I'm, I'm gorgeous! gorgeous. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, could you feel that fire that you gave to yourself? Yeah, that was kind of weird. Yeah. It's weird. <laughs> One of the amazing things that Regina really teaches you to see the beauty in all women, and the media kind of sometimes teaches us that beauty only looks like a certain thing in a certain shape and thinness, and you really learn to see the gorgeousness in everyone around you. The core philosophy behind Mama Gina School of Womanly Arts is it's really a pleasure revolution. I'm a little revolutionary. I want people to use the power of their pleasure to have their way with the world. I think it's really important for us to celebrate the gift of life and to use pleasure as a vehicle for attaining our dreams. Take this sensing organ, right, and then you're just gonna place it like on her knee. <laughs> Doesn't that feel good? It's warm. Yeah. As women, we don't really tell guys what it is we want. So I'm all about train, don't complain. Tell him what lights you up, tell him what thrills you. He lives to serve you. And a friend of mine turned me on to Regina's book and it really turned things around for me. I could create anything in my marriage and it really became magical. My husband has been saying no to a new car for quite a long time and this week I really turned his head around. 
And I just appealed to him from another angle that he hadn't seen coming. And he finally said yes. He said yes to my new car. And I can go pick it. And he's okay with whatever I decide. And you know what? Half the joy of that was just to get him to say yes. My husband was so excited and turned on just by me being different. And that's what Regina was able to do for us. Regina has reshaped women's lives through her pleasure-based work. So learn about our 8,000 nerve endings, learn what pleasures us, learn what we love, because then you can introduce a guy into a world of sensual experience and sensual fulfillment that you could not possibly attain without that very valuable information. So like you want to rock her world? Okay. All right, so this date I had the other week, you know, this guy, he leans over, and what he does, it's so surprising, it was so hot, is he takes his finger, and instead of just placing it on my hand, slides his finger right in there. When a woman and a man pay attention to a woman's joy and to a woman's desire, there's a potential for an unfolding life of intimacy, pleasure, and romance in companionship with one another that's not possible any other way. It's unexplored territory. It's a brand new paradigm pleasure. And it's a marvelous, marvelous vista that elevates everybody in their pathway. I was one of the very skeptical people who really thought, how can this change my life? How can I focus on desire and pleasure when I've got to clean my house, I've got to get to work, I've got to travel for work, and I've got to live in a dysfunctional relationship that I was currently involved in. How is this really going to help my life? And it has completely transformed every notion that I thought about myself, that I thought about men, that I thought about family. It's about time that we had someone like her who just allows us to be us like it's okay to flirt it's okay to you know to go after what you want it's okay to relish in your desires the most astounding thing for me is that people who haven't seen me physically in about a year and I might bump into them on the street or like at a seminar or something they barely recognize me it used to be that I was totally buttoned up to here you know it's like a business suit buttoned all the way little tiny pearls and now it's like I'm a sex pot <laughs> and I had no idea that this was something that existed within me and it was the School of Womanly Arts that really harnessed that and really allows me to shine. The 21st century is the millennium of the woman. We are coming into our own voice and I am here to enhance and expand the voice of women. It's why I carry this fan around. It's to remind me that my job is to fan the flames of women's desires wherever I see them because whenever you have a woman's desire live, hot, paid attention to, you take everybody around her higher. Regina's message is simple, yet powerful. You must know pleasure to give pleasure. So go out there and pleasure yourself. Pleasure yourselves. Pleasure yourselves today. Mama Gina, giving women and men the ultimate power through the divine art of pleasure. Quelle aventure plaisir.